Hey everybody, we got the old Marlin 3030 out today. Uh, I put some new rear sights on it. I broke my old rear sights. The ones that came on it got broken in a uh, scope mounting accident. Anyway, these are marble sights that I ordered in. I made a mistake when I ordered and I got the short the short sights. I wish I'd have got the longer ones that come on out to here. They do come with a sliding elevator. Uh, we're going to use this bore sider here and uh, bore sight on this uh, little close up target here and see if we got them uh, kind of halfway set right. There's a laser, laser bore sider as you can see. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put it in the end of the barrel and see what we can do with them. Okay, let's get started. They come with these little these little attachments here. There's several of them to fit various calibers. I got the one on the tip up here that's appropriate to the 30 caliber. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to move up here and uh, turn you where you can see a little better. We're going to move up here to the crown of the muzzle. We're going to carefully insert this on in there. As you twist it into the rifling, it gets tighter. So now you just you just engage it and turn it on. And we can look through the sights and see where the dot is on the target. So Let's uh, turn the camera around and see what happens here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to look through the sights and we're going to see where the, where the laser light lines up. I think it's a little bit off to the right. So we're just going to take some shots and uh... Hey everybody Well the bore sighting didn't work out as planned It didn't work as well as I wanted it to My batteries were so weak it barely would show up on the target But We're going to go to plan B I'm going to get out a box of ammo and actually do some shooting and sight it in that way. Which is what you have to do anyway. Comes down to it. So, uh, this is not my ammo of choice. This is 150 grain and I prefer the 170 grain. But this will get us on paper and this will get us close enough. Come, uh, come hunting time, I'm probably going to put a scope back on this rifle. We have a uh, three-point rule on one side. It had the deer, the deer, to be a legal buck. It has to have three points on one side, and they have to be a certain length here in the state. So to keep from shooting a illegal deer with old eyes and all like I have, it's better to have you a scope on there where you can actually see what you're doing. So. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do some shooting here. I'll turn y'all around so y'all can see the target. This is a Marlin Model 336, 3030 rifle. And yes, it is a, it is a Remington made one. They're not bad rifles, folks. I know people like to trash them, but hell, people like to trash everything these days. I 
All right, here we go. Let's load up and take a few shots. At least take one. See where we're at. Ah, not too bad. Zoom in just a little bit more. Looks like I hit uh, I hit right and just a little bit low with the bullseye. Take another shot. All right, this time I hit left and low. Hmm. This ain't really too good because I got this uh, I got this sight cranked up about as high as it'll go. Let me pause you just a minute. We're gonna do some experimenting here. All right, as you can see there, I took a couple of shots off camera, and it's uh. I'm just a little bit high. I'd rather be high than low. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load up another round and I'm going to take a six o'clock hold on that target. See where that gets me. Then I'll know which way to go from there. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, right at the top of the bull. Yeah, that's pretty good. See if I can do that again. Oh yeah, nine o'clock, right on the bull. All right, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna call that set. That's about accuracy for a thirty-thirty. I mean, they're not a they're not a bench rest rifle for sure. A lot of people call them pipe plate accuracy. I call them minute of deer accuracy. They, they'll they hit the deer in the lungs as long as you do your part. And with that 170 grain bullet, it usually drops them like a dead gum truck hitting them too, so it's all good. All right, well, I'm gonna turn you off here for a minute. Okay, so we're back, y'all. Looks like we got it sighted in pretty good. Taking that six o'clock hold, I can hit what I'm aiming at. I could uh, loosen this little screw down here and slide this down a little bit, and get it a little bit better off, but we got it to that point with seven shots, so we're gonna call that good. I can just use Kentucky windage. Like I said, in a few more months, it's gonna have a scope back on it anyway, so. That's one of my deer rifles. I like to hunt with this rifle. It's a, it's a Remington made Marlin with micro groove ba uh, barrel. I know people like to make fun of those Remington made Marlins. They call them Remlins and all kinds of other junk that they come up with to trash something. There's, there's all kinds of people that just love to go around doing that kind of stuff. You know, there's a YouTuber, or I should say a man on YouTube, 
on another channel that uh, he likes to give out advice to young people. And uh, my advice to young people would be not to believe everything you hear on YouTube or any other place for that matter. These are good rifles. Remington's a well-respected company that's been around forever. And I'm going to tell you something. I've killed a lot of deer with this rifle. And the deer don't know the difference whether it was made in New Haven, Connecticut or whether it was made in Ilion, New York or Bug Tussle, Arkansas. They don't know a damn, they can't tell a damn bit of difference. When that 170 grain bullet hits them, they go down like a rock. Bang flop, I believe is what people like to call it nowadays. Well, uh, that's pretty much what they do when that 170 grain bullet hits them. It, they go bang flop uh, right out there. You go get it. You go get your meat at that point. I have had a few run a few steps, but they don't go far, and they're leaving a good enough blood trail. You don't have a bit of trouble finding them. So, my advice to young people is be to not be so gullible and believe in everything that you hear. Okay, well. I'm going to quit preaching now. <laughs> Get on with life. Hey, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll get the old uh, Winchester Model 94 out. And this one here. And uh, they're both 3030s. We'll have a shootout and see which one suits the best. Okay. Bye.